Good morning, guys. It is day three here in Vermont. We have one more night, and today we are going to hopefully, maybe, go snowshoeing. That's going to be new to me. I think it is like negative 14 degrees right now. So <laughs> if we go, I want to make it like super quick, but I just want to have the experience of doing it. We're headed over to the Von Trapp Family Resort and we have one o'clock reservations there at the Beer Hole, which is their restaurant on property. And then I plan on exploring the place a little bit as well, if I can. I'm not sure how much there is open, but I thought that would be something fun to see. And it's just there are icicles hanging all through our little balcony area here it's just it's so so cold like <laughs> i don't know how long i'm gonna be able to stay out there plus i don't have ski pants or anything appropriate for this type of weather so i'm just kind of layering i'm wearing leggings underneath jeans and i have like a couple of shirts on i'm gonna wear a sweater over this so i just really have to layer very well and hopefully that'll work Last night, we had a great time. We had dinner at the restaurant downstairs, which is called Fritz. Unfortunately, they did not give you very much food at all. The staff is great. The staff has been great throughout this entire hotel, but the food, although it was very good, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of it. So that was a little bit disappointing. I like was still hungry when I was done eating and I don't eat a lot. So anyway, aside from that, Everything here has been wonderful. We are really, really loving this resort. And I just, I think it's clean, it's cozy. It's really just so quaint and so charming. And it's just been fun having different areas to kind of relax and explore. And I had my Kindle yesterday and I was like in all these different areas, just reading by the fire and in all these little nooks and crannies that they have throughout the like the entire hotel. So it's been a lot of fun. Swimming last night was fun and we're about to start our day. So I'm just rambling. <laughs> so um, we're gonna head out in a few minutes and I will catch up with you guys later. Well, hey everybody, we're, we're snowshoeing for a little adventure today. What do you think about your first time snowshoeing? It's amazing. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun so far and uh, we're, we're one mile in. I think we only have five to go. No. So looking for, what, yeah. How, what? I did, what, listen, everybody in the vlog, <laughs> you know that Jen's really in shape, so this is not a problem for her. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned. We'll, yeah. uh, be at the end with beers. Yeah, all right, here we go.
back from snowshoeing and they have coffee downstairs so we got some coffee and also have our leftover apple cider donuts from yesterday it's a good fire you got going so i just wanted to give you guys a quick recap of our day now that we're back at the hotel so snowshoeing was a lot of fun when we were actually going through the forest i was getting hot because the trees like block all of the wind so you're really not that cold and plus you're just working up a sweat walking through the trails you're kind of up and down and you know it was a little bit challenging for sure i think it was about a mile and a half going to the i think it's called the van trap or the trap beer house beer what was it called I think it was called the Von Trap Beer Hall. So once we got there, we had lunch, had a drink, and then we walked back and it was probably about a mile back. We took a little bit of a shorter route going back and it was a lot of fun. So I'm glad that we got to do that today. And then we just came back here to the hotel. We were relaxing for a little bit. We went downstairs by the fire, had some more apple cider donuts, had a coffee, and we met a couple of people who were really cool. We met these two guys who actually own and operate a vodka company. It's called Cylinder Vodka. So that was really cool. And yeah, so now we are going to probably get dinner in tonight. I think we're just going to get some takeout and just hang out here and relax and go swimming again and stuff like that. So that is the plan. Just wanted to give you guys an update. And our time here in Vermont has really been a lot of fun. Also, I just wanted to share with you guys this view that we have had for the last couple of days. And especially now that it's not snowing as much and it's not as foggy as it was when we first arrived, we can see the mountains and it's so pretty. The first couple of days, or at least the first day and a half, I didn't even know there were mountains there. <laughs> like you could not even see it. And it's just so beautiful. And the sun is setting right now, which is such a pretty time of day. And I don't know, I'm kind of sad to be leaving tomorrow. And also look at, I told you guys about this this morning, but look at the ice hanging <laughs> off of the awning here. It's crazy. I don't know. It's really nice. It's a lot nicer than I had anticipated. I am not really a cold weather person, so I wasn't sure how I was going to do <laughs> here in Vermont, but we're having a good time. And I am tolerating the cold a lot better than I thought I would. So I just want to show you guys how clever we are. <laughs> we have a cooler with drinks. I have applesauce and stuff in here. And what I did was I just took these icicles <laughs> off of the awning here and put them in here to keep our drinks cool. So I just thought that was pretty clever. Hey guys, so it's a little bit after 10 o'clock at night. We just hung out here at the hotel tonight. We ordered some pizza from the Picasso Pizza Parlor and we claimed a really nice spot by the fire and we literally sat there for like five hours and just hung out and had dinner and I don't know, it was just a really relaxing night and we just got back from the hot tub and the pool and the sauna and we're just like taking advantage of all the stuff there is to do here. But it's late and it's our last night. Um, the rest of our friends are actually going to be leaving early in the morning because they're going to another ski resort tomorrow. They're going skiing somewhere else. So we're going to call it a night, sleep in tomorrow. We have reservations at a pancake house in town, and I'm not really sure what we're going to do tomorrow. But today was a really fun day, and I'm glad I got to bring you guys along, and I will see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. It's our last day here in Stowe, Vermont, and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. We are headed out. We're going to go downstairs here at the Stowe Off, and I think I'm saying it right, the Stowe Hoff. And we're going to have some coffee. We have reservations at 1015 at a place called the Skinny Pig Pancake, I think. So we're going to have breakfast there today. The last couple of days, we've just been eating here at the hotel. So we're going to be heading out, exploring a little bit of the town. And I'm really not sure. We have several stops on the agenda for today. So it's been a lot of fun, but we have to sadly pack up and head out. And I'm excited to bring you guys along because I still think we have a lot on the agenda. So we're going to go grab some coffee, pack up, and do some more exploring of the town. Yes. 
So I got the Noah's Ark, which is scrambled eggs, bacon, and a couple of cinnamon sugar crepes. Jim got a burrito, and then we had to order just like a basic crepe to go along with it. So we just finished having breakfast at the Skinny Pancake. It's not the Pig Pancake. <laughs> I don't know why I kept thinking that but it's more of like a crepery kind of a place. And it was really good, but it was totally, what's the word? When like you don't see people. Self-serve, hands-free. <laughs> Not hands-free, but kind of like that, what the hell? Um, totally contactless. So you don't really see any people. You order from your phone, you pay from your phone, and they just bring it out to you. But even your drinks, like you go up and get them yourself. So that was interesting, but the, food, the next ride. but the food there was really good and we really enjoyed it. We're going to drive through, I think it's, this is Emily's Bridge. It's called something else though. It's called a gold covered bridge. Okay, we're at the Gold Brook Covered Bridge. Now we're just reading about the legend of Emily, which I believe is this girl, Emily, was supposed to get married and the guy never showed up or something and she hung herself supposedly in the bridge. And that sounds like the corpse bride story, kind of. And wasn't her name Emily? Do you remember? I think so. I wonder if it was based off of that. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, so we just finished up picking up the maple infused bourbon and we went to Cabbage Cheese Shop and got some different cheeses to bring home. We went to Emily's Bridge, which I believe is the inspiration for the Corpse Bride because I looked it up and the Corpse Bride's name is Emily and the story is very similar. <laughs> and now we are just finishing up here and we're gonna start heading back home really soon. All right, our last stop is Ben and Jerry's and we're going to the Flavor Graveyard in the snow. They really didn't shovel a path, but totally wanted to check this out. <laughs> this is really cool. They have a Dave Matthews band, Magic Brownies. You remember that? Yeah. We're leaving Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I think that was a great way to end our Vermont trip. We're bringing home ice cream for everyone, including the dogs, and it was really cute there. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along and I will see you next time. Bye.